is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome, welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. When my guest worships God, he taps into a frequency of heaven that angels love. And do you remember the story in the Bible about Jacob's ladder, the angels coming down from heaven and going up the ladder to heaven? Well, guess what these angels were bringing from heaven? Gifts. And then going back up to get more gifts. Those angels are here right now. Now, Freddie Haler, just as a young child, what, five years of age, you kept having a reoccurring dream. What was that? Well, it was just a dream that came to me as about a five-year-old, and it came to me for about six months on and off, and uh, I would be asleep, and I would see three-dimensional multicolored notes and heavenly sounds and angelic voices, and uh, I didn't really appreciate at the time what it was. I didn't know what it was. No, but I know exactly what it was. Then at age 11, as so often happens, the devil tried to snuff out his life. It was drowning, mm. fell out of a boat, no one there to help him. But a mysterious stranger showed up and saved his life. Freddie, I believe that that was your first known encounter with an angel. I, I am sure of that. Yes. But then your wife, Annie, uh, found out about a concert, a Pavarotti concert. And she knew that uh, this was something you would enjoy, uh, but you didn't have the money for tickets. What happened? Well, she called uh, up the lady who was head in charge of tickets, and uh, there were $500 a seat. And she said, my, hu my husband can sing like Pavarotti. I don't know why she said that, but <laughs> she just said it by faith. And so she's a woman of faith. And so uh, it, she said, OK, well, if he's training, we just had two cancellations. It's kind of miraculous. We'll sell you both seats for $50. Pretty good. Okay, so you're there, and God speaks to you. What does He say? Well, I was sitting there. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. And the man next to me, who was a high executive with Sun Trust, was kind of crying to some of the music. I was just listening to him sing, and I thought it was so beautiful. And the Lord spoke to me and says, "You're going to have a voice like this, but." Instead of singing in the, uh, that world that he's in, you're going to be singing for the glory of God, my glory. I want you to go to the set. I don't want them to just be told what happens. I want them to experience what happens because God spoke to him and said he would be able to sing the songs of heaven. And again, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, but the song is called Holy Spirit, please come. Please come. In your home, in the studio audience, would you invite the Holy Spirit to come inside of you right now? Holy Spirit, please come. Oh, I'm doing it for me. You do it for yourself. Let me hear that. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, please come Like a spring rain Fall on me from above I'm thirsty 
I am thirsty for thee. Come and fill me, comfort me in your sweet love. Come to me as a gentle love, anoint me and release me to come to thee, my God and King. Oh, to see your glory on the wings of the dove. Holy Spirit, Jesus said you would come. Like a spring breeze to breathe life into me. When you fill me, I am happy and calm. As I praise you, I can fly into heaven. Now my spirit adores you to be filled with your presence. And oh, As I kneel on the floor, and I can bear it no more. When the trials of this life and the tempter is rending my heart to the core, I lift my hands up to the heavens and praise Jesus, for he'll send me down on the wings of the dove. God's pure spirit of love, for he's come. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Experience the atmosphere of heaven in your own home. This anointed collection includes two Songs of Angels audio worship CDs, volumes one and two, containing 33 songs of timeless, majestic music. You will sense the healing power of God as you listen to this timeless and anointed music over and over again. Each CD also includes a devotional booklet with words to every song, inspirational thoughts, heavenly illustrations, and anointed prayers. In addition to Freddie's two audio worship CDs, you will also get Volume 1 and Volume 2 of his animated DVDs, featuring breathtaking high-quality visuals of God's creation set to the powerful music of the Song of Angels. The entire collection, the two CDs and two DVDs are yours for a gift of $65. It includes shipping and handling. Ask for offer number SP9206. Or you can get just volume one of the audio worship CD and DVD for a gift of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9206. Call or you can send your check of either $65 for the entire collection or $45 for Volume 1 of the CD and DVD to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number SP9206 or 9206 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. So God tells Freddie that he's going to have a voice like Caruso, and all of a sudden, his first voice teacher uh, is one of the best teachers and, and artists from the Metropolitan. Uh, and what did he say about you? Well, Jerome said that uh, basically he'd take me as a student, and he thought I had one of the greatest tenor voices since Caruso and uh, Geely and some of those guys and, in and, Italy. And what was his name? Jerome Hines. Uh, you've heard of him, haven't you? Famous, famous opera singer. Well, um, so you're, you're at home with your wife, Annie, eating beans and rice <laughs> with a compliments like that. Um, and uh, you get offered to sing for the world at 
$20,000 a night. What would you do? What did you do? Well, we, uh, Father knows best. That at the time, I wasn't sure. But I just said, oh, come on. <laughs> It's hard to turn oh, that down okay. when you're eating beans and rice and you have a, two <laughs> young girls. But I said, you know, uh, I promised God that I would, I covenanted with him that I'd always use my voice to, to sing his glory and uh, of his glory. And so uh, I just decided no. And then a week later, I was kind of depressed. You know? uh, 20,000 a night. <laughs> I was like, like, Lord, where, where art thou? And, uh, and, and <laughs> And uh, so, uh, you know, I have a wife and children to feed. So I, I got a call a week later out of the blue. People I didn't know from Nashville uh, now call Sony Christian label. And they said, oh, we'd like to fly you over to record with the greatest symphony in the world, the London Symphony, and you can sing all the great hymns. You see, pay attention to God. Father knows what's best. So tell me about the Al-Qaeda terrorist. Well, well, we wrote these songs and, and, and we, we, we really prophesied it almost as, instead of singing them in, under the anointing, prayer and fasting, and these beautiful songs we were put together with these great writers uh, and, and myself all, all over the world. And uh, so it, they're really, they're really um, wedges, spiritual wedges, where, 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 you know, in the 1040 window where in the Muslim world, if you hand out a track, they can, you know, uh, oh. this, 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 uh, this music goes into these places. And so someone got a pirated version. Thank you, pirate. It's okay. <laughs> uh, we, a, a, in Afghanistan, and this man calls us up on one of these, you know, those, those cell phones you kind of you used to see, you know, Osama using. And uh, he, he calls up and he's like, on a, on a delay, and he's like, broke very bad English, and he says, I've been to the throne. I have been to the throne. He says, I have seen Jesus. You just, I have seen God. He says, I want to be saved. And he says, I am uh, with terrorist group and uh, we work with Taliban in Afghanistan. So I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll talk to you, you know. And he goes, we were planning, they were planning a mission the next morning against our troops. My goodness. Now, you, have you heard, have others heard angels singing along with you? Well, you know, in the Great Awakening, uh, John Wesley did in one of his meetings. So I was reading that one day and I said, Lord, I'd like that to happen in the meetings. And we were at a meeting at, at a church in Manchester, New Hampshire, a big church, a few thousand people. And uh, the Shekinah glory fell and an angel was prophesying and singing with me on the stage, you know, and a man saw this who was an unsaved attorney from Boston and he fell rolling over the floor. We thought we had to call AMT to get him worked on. We thought he was having a heart attack and the man actually saw a 20 foot angel in the meeting. And they saw the actual Shekinah glory fall in the meeting. And so we're just grateful to God for okay, evangelism. It's real easy. When I want you to go to that music set because I believe the angels want to worship right along with you. And this song is called The Epiphany. And this is his encounter with the throne room of God. And I believe that as you worship God, the angels will be worshiping with you. And they remember Jacob's ladder? Get ready to receive. Studio audience, stand up and reach towards the heavens. And you at home, you do the same. Freddie Hayes. see you now, Shekinah, all around you. Adoring angels pray. Before your throne, and I see glory, glory in the highest, an unnumbered rainbow round the throne of God, and a crystal river is now flowing from your presence with your love.
returning to the earthly realm I pray our eyes are open to see the extreme evil for holiness Heaven is a pure and peaceful realm of glory and might Oh how he loves you and he wants you to be with him for all eternity. Whoever's we'll loving all of you, you are his bride. Prepare yourself for him. Transparent forms shining in a sea of glass. They mirror his glory. Every gentle word, a graceful wave of his hand. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. My passion is for you to walk in divine health 24 7. That's why I handpicked my favorite healing scriptures from many translations of the Bible, personalized them for you, and made them available in this free ebook. I want you to meditate or pray out loud these scriptures over your life daily and witness the supernatural healing power of God's kingdom come upon you. Download your free healing scriptures ebook now. We now return to it's supernatural. I don't know of anything like worship to transport you supernaturally to the throne of heaven. Yes. Now, Freddie, you had a vision about Michael, the archangel. Who is Michael? Michael, uh, in the scriptures, is referred to, his name means who is like God. He's very powerful. Uh, he's uh, an archangel, he's the general of heaven, the general of the armies, the chief five-star general we, is what we'd call him in America. And uh, he is the one that sent, uh, was sent in Daniel chapter 10 when Daniel fasted and prayed for 21 days. And there was a very powerful warring angel helping him fight the prince of Persia, the demonic powers that were coming at Israel then. Isn't it interesting? Persia, you know, is Iran. So back then he was fighting the prince of Iran. But go ahead. Same deal, Hezbollah, all this, is, 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 it's really, it's not a, a geopolitical problem. There. It's a spiritual problem always. And, and so, so uh, Daniel didn't, wasn't going to let Israel go down the tubes. He was going to pray and fast, and, and no one else did. If no one else did, he was going to stand. And, you know, God honored that. God honors the prayer of one. I don't care if it's one. If you're 85 years old and a widow, you could be the most powerful person in your city if you'll engage in hidden intercession with the Lord and pray for Israel and pray for revival. So that's what Daniel was doing. And he, he, there was assigned to him a powerful angel, but this angel could not overcome the prince of Persia. He couldn't. So after 21 days, God said, okay, Michael, go. Michael came and said, Daniel, you have good hands, clean hands. You're a man of God. I have come, and I'm going to take care of him now. So... Uh, you know, Michael did come in, and uh, so Michael is this celestial prince, and he's also given the specific duty, a lot of Bible scholars believe, uh, Jewish scholars as well, that he is the uh, celestial prince of Israel. Daniel makes that pretty clear. Go ahead. Yes, and, and I, think, I think that, uh, uh, that he, he, he is uh, on notice to, to stand guard for Israel. So the other day when I was thinking about the program and praying, I was in my chair and I was just sitting at home and all of a sudden I had this vision and I saw in one of the songs I sing, he had golden curly hair with eyes of like liquid blue lightning with these beautiful glory like beads and uh, uh, glory beads, powerful, powerful creature, 10 foot tall. And I saw him in the vision and then, and then he said, behold, and around Israel was encamped fiery chariots and all these angelic hosts. And I said, what is going on? And this was before I heard about the possibility of, you know, chemical weapons attacks, whatever. But there's a spiritual dynamic going on right now where Michael has specifically been in these end times, because it talks about in the end times. We know we're in the end times. 
there is a time of Michael, and I heard it clearly. The Lord speak, this is the time of Michael. Get up and pray. There isn't a lot of time left. Prepare my people. Prepare my people. I'm coming. The Messiah is coming to rule and reign from Jerusalem, the holy city. And it's not, we, 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 we need to, to redeem the time. We need to hasten his return by praying and praying for Israel and empowering the intercessors. It's a call to intercessors and people everywhere to, to uphold, like Daniel, these angels. Because like Aaron and her upheld the hands of Moses. I mean, Moses was a pretty spiritual guy. He was at the burning bush. He was a worshiper. But he got tired at times, and he needed help. The angels are the same way. They're not omnipotent. Let's, let's make, They need our prayers. Let's make the song of Michael, if you would go to yes. the music set, let's make the song of Michael your prayer because right now, God is calling you to intercede for the nation Israel because the nation Israel, Jesus said, I will not return until the Jewish people say, Baruch haba b'shem Adonai, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Make this your prayer for protection and safety of the land of Israel, the Song of Michael. El Padre Santo, Espíritu Santo, Angelico, el anima se ne va verso l'eternità. Gloria. Experience the atmosphere of heaven in your own home. This anointed collection includes two Songs of Angels audio worship CDs, volumes one and two, containing 33 songs of timeless, majestic music. This heavenly music will bring you into closer intimacy with God.
sense the healing power of God as you listen to this timeless and anointed music over and over again. You will listen to these anointed CDs in your home, car, and office. Each CD also includes a devotional booklet with words to every song, inspirational thoughts, heavenly illustrations, and anointed prayers. God, I love you. In addition to Freddie's two audio worship CDs, you will also get Volume 1 and Volume 2 of his animated DVDs, featuring breathtaking high-quality visuals of God's creation set to the powerful music of the Song of Angels. Take control of your TV set and usher in the glory of God as you play these over and over again. collection. The two CDs and two DVDs are yours for a gift of $65. It includes shipping and handling. Ask for offer number SP9206. This special price is a savings of $20 off retail and is only available to our It's Supernatural audience. This collection makes a great gift for Hanukkah or Christmas or you can get just Volume 1 of the Audio Worship CD and DVD for a gift of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9206. Call or you can send your check of either $65 for the entire collection or $45 for Volume 1 of the CD and DVD to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number SP9206 or 9206 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. My next guest had incurable, in quotes, schizophrenia. In a few years, he was supposed to be catatonic. Personally, I have never seen anybody come off of medication and be normal. Um, well, but I have to tell you, doctor, he is not normal according to the world. <laughs> He is normal according to the Word of God.